the place she wants to be is with me. Who wouldn't? Sit. All right, I've got seven month old Clover and we're doing advanced healing and sitting. If your dog pulls on the leash and won't sit long enough, this is gonna help you. Heal, good. Do me a favor, click subscribe if you enjoy this uh, little segment here. Heal, good, there you go, sit. Leave me a comment, baby. All right, what do we got? We've got a check cord that is super nice and handy to, to keep rolled up when I'm doing tight work here. Heel. I've got my choke chain. I've got my e-collar on the dog. Just we're not using it right now. Sit. But it's on. It's like a putting on her work outfit, right? She starts getting used to wearing it, but we're not using it, but it's there, baby. All right, heel. So here's what we're gonna work on in this little segment. I'm gonna start expecting a little bit more of her on her heel. I'm gonna integrate treats when I see fit. Heel. Good. Heel, sit. And I'm gonna start using the choke chain a little more firmly than what you saw before with Rambler on his sit. That's just a baby. I'm going through more formal obedience right now with Clover. So I'm expecting, sit, good. Her to sit still, good. I'm gonna start increasing distance and applying some pressure on that keep her butt down on the ground good heel good heel if she's out of heel I'm gonna do a little baby pop heel I'm gonna turn into her heel heel set as soon as I say set I'm applying upward pressure on the lead as soon as the butt hits the ground I relax the pressure okay Sit. Good. Now, now let's do this. Heel. Sit. Sit. Quick pro tip. Done this a long time. You're, I'm a righty, but my left hand is always going to remain on the check cord. So if she were to break set, I can apply upward pressure. Sit. Good. That a girl. And always have control. If you drop your leash, now I'm wrestling to grab it good sit girl i'm talking to her now typically we're going to give one command one time and expect them to do it right this is teaching phase so i'm saying sit i'm reminding her to sit 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 apply some pressure good sit sit i'm moving around sit you're doing a good job girl sit I'm working the rope. I'm keeping it out from underneath my feet. Sit. Little reminder. Sit. Good. The tricky part going around behind. Good. Sit. Sit. Give a little baby praise. Good dog. Heel. Good. Good. I'm going to pull in a little luring here. Here. Good. Good girl. There you go. Brings her attitude back up, right? We want to keep a nice balanced attitude. Sit. Good. Uh, heel, heel. Again, these sessions are short. Five minutes, heel. Good. Sit, sit. Whip the old lead around. Sit, keep my left hand up. One of the things that I do, if you noticed, I never say stay. Stay is a redundant command and it's implied. So if I tell her sit, Sit doesn't mean for two seconds. From Rambler's age to now, I've started to increase the time I'll have her sit. Good, I can move in, move away. And the other thing you'll notice is I'm not calling the dog to me off of sit. I always go back to the dog and praise. And what that does is she's gonna say, well, Bob is gonna come back and see me and release me from this location, okay? 
So if every time I do it, she's gonna be more patient on sit versus think, is he gonna call me? Should I sit? Is he gonna call me? Should I sit, right? Now, sit. Go back to your dog and give a command, heel, off of sit. If you think about it, if I were to call her off of sit, the place she wants to be is with me. Who wouldn't sit? So she's gonna anticipate it. So if every other time you say sit, go back to her, sit here, she's gonna say, oh, I really wanna be with him. And she'll scoot and you'll see this dog like, she's still sitting, but she's scooting, okay? You're doing a great job not showing that. But if you notice that that dog is scooting towards you, you're going to basically put them back where they broke from, sit. Okay, so if she had scooted two feet in front, good girl, I'm gonna put them back where they broke from. Same with the kennel command. If they jump off kennel, I'm gonna put them back on kennel. Um, you can do it with the lead, or I like to do it by like their collar and just boop, put them back where they belong, okay? Sit. And that's how in the wild, a mother, wolf or coyote or fox is gonna keep puppies, babies safe in the den, right? Sit, good. So it's dangerous outside. She's gonna grab him by the scruff, put him back in the den. Puppy goes, hmm, seems interesting out there. Goes back out, she grabs him by the scruff, puts him back in the den. By the third time, she's gonna be a little bit more firm with that pup, and it's gonna say, huh, mom wants me to be back in the den. So same concept for this dog. If I were to place her, here, sit, sit. She's gonna go, oh, he meant right here, not scooting towards me, okay? So you're doing a good job, girl, sit. Good, sit, good sit. Give her a little reward, give a little back pressure. She should stay sitting, good dog. Go back to your dog, good, heel. Another thing dogs will start getting used to is you coming up and petting and being able to be done, right? Here, good, heel, sit, good, good. All right, let's introduce the healing stick real quick. Um, this is probably the second time she's ever seen one. There's a couple tips with the healing stick. One, I'm not whap whap too crazy. This is just a tap on the butt with this thing, okay? I put it behind my back, heel. It's not in their line of view. Sit. Good. Heel. Sit. Good. And what they're learning is kind of like the choke chain, pressure up, butt hits the ground, pressure off. Same concept with the stick. If they sit quickly, the stick doesn't catch them. So they're going to sit really quick to try and beat the stick pressure. Heel. Heel. Good. Sit. Good, heel, heel, good, set, good, heel, good, set, and I'll like miss them, right? Okay, so she goes, oh, I sat so fast, I did so good, I didn't get tapped on the booty. Heel, good, heel. This tool is also gonna come in handy when we're working on steadiness, so I don't want the first time that they see this thing to be during the marks, set. Oh, good. See how quick she sat? That was awesome. So she's already figuring out the quicker I sit, the longer I sit, the quicker I get rewarded. Good dog. Cool. So that's more advanced heel work. Sit and, and the implied stay. Sit until I tell you. So if they break sit and come towards you, you put them back where they broke from. You want to move around them and you want to extend the time and the duration that they'll be patient sitting Okay, um, again, I would love if I had a bumper on me, I'd probably pitch it and end on a high note, keeping that drive and enthusiasm for the work up. Um, but I'm using treats intermittently and my praise. Hey, good girl, that's a good dog. Oh, she's so sweet, right? So keep her happy, end your sessions on a high note, build retrieve drive throughout these sessions if you feel like you need to. Um, move quickly for a slow dog, for a fast dog, move slower. So if she was, like giddy up, ready to rock, heel. I'd go really slow, she's gotta stay at heel. If she's being slow, heel. I'm gonna pick my pace up, good, heel. Heel, sit, good, there you go. That a girl, ah, ah, ah. oh, perfect, here. Sit, sit, nice. That's the correction I wanted you all to see, right? So she thought I was maybe calling her to me or about to say heel or whatever she anticipated. I was able to get a little leash correction with my chain as well as put her back where she broke. So beautiful, great, great, that a girl. Thank you for showing that off, heel. Good job, Clover. Hope you guys enjoyed that one, sit. Advanced 
heel and set, bingo, bango, bongo.